I think my favorite one has to be the uh, the Nike Plus Fitness app for me. Um, so when we're talking about uh, Connect, you'll you'll hear it called a natural user interface versus a game controller, and so you'll see that uh, in an open source API called OpenNI. Um, there's some other interesting natural interfaces uh, like Rocksmith where you can uh, plug your guitar, an uh, electric guitar directly into um, your Xbox and learn guitar. Um, this is my uh, mini TED talk. I, I kind of think that Kinect games can improve life. Um, you can improve your movement, like you're moving in ways that you wouldn't normally move as a gamer. Um, you're getting body eye coordination. Um, it can act as a personal trainer for like the Nike Plus games. And uh, personally, uh, I used uh, mainly just Kinect games to lose about 30 pounds um, in this past year. So Connect One is based on um, an infrared scatter pattern, um, and they also call it structured light. So I'll try to explain this. Um, so if you assume this is the green is a pixel on your screen, and uh, and this is the laser coming off of it. Um, as you go further away, you can see they're spaced, the, uh, the blaster and then the camera. They're spaced uh, separate or apart from each other, and that's important for this. So uh, the further away it goes, uh, the further in, inward it's going to move on your screen. And Connect 2 works a totally different way. It uses time of flight infrared. And the resolution is, um, it's about double the effective resolution of Connect 1 uh, because it uses time of flight. And there's an article you can look at on Gamma Sutra that explains more. Are you going to post this slide? Yeah, I will. So this is the infrared um, from the Connect One. And you can see see the, uh, the dots? Let me make it bigger. So you can see the dots on here, and that is the uh, scatter pattern. And so because the dots only cover about half or less of the screen, um, your effective resolution is, is less than um, time of flight. You guys, uh, program. Have any of you guys tried programming the Connect? Yeah. Uh, so it'll actually give you back. Um, so you'll you'll listen for frames, and they'll come back, and they'll give you uh, skeletons of the users. Um, it'll it'll give you a list of joints uh, for each for each skeleton, and give you the exact position of where you are in 3D.
So for this repo. So you can see that um, on the Connect One, it's it's kind of moving this the scatter pattern. And so you'll see it's kind of blotchy and moving, but you don't get that nearly as much on the Matter Flight on the Connect Two. <laughs> This is only the infrared um, <laughs> depth value.
say your primitive is, is called a point cloud. And I'll show you a point cloud I took uh, right before the presentation. So this is basically just a, a snapshot with depth. Do you guys remember the movie uh, Minority Report? It's like, it's like real now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my name is DiCaprio. <laughs> uh huh, sure. research project and you can use it for connect one right now I think I, I need a volunteer actually So gummy bears. It's got a, I can move it around, you guys, and it's doing all this on the video card. Yeah. Is that a mesh? Uh, it is a mesh, and I can export it. Does it have like a mesh? Yes, it's a mesh. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to. Just if you take a snapshot of that, the area behind it is just like a Yeah. Uh, it only gets a. Uh, like it'll only get a certain huge, so it was only capturing like this area right here. Yeah. Um, and you can like lower the re resolution because it's limited by the video card memory. Um, so you can lower the resolution to get a bigger area. You said you, could you couldn't get a diffuse map from that. Um, from you can only get the I shape. Can. Oh, you can. Yeah. That would be totally sick. Phone light. 
That should be good, actually. Ah, oh, right on. <laughs> Some say my first hour is like that anyway. That's so good. Bring it out. No, no. <laughs> you bring out some more jokes. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say classic three D. Isn't that a step up from normal? Uh, uh, that's wrong. That's how you say it. Wow. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> you're, well, you're adding an extra dimension, man. Play it off right on. <laughs> so I can get that out, and it'll give you uh, vertex colors on the mesh. Okay. Wow, that's really impressive. Oh, we'll get back. Yeah, so you can render vertex colors. I created a custom shader to do that. So. Saving that out as a, a BAE. Do you have to like retopo this to make it low poly, or could you just put it right in without any problems? I basically just put it right in. Wow. There's, there's actually no texture on this. It's all vertex color. So the mesh uh, is pretty high resolution. Um, and I can move the light around. So it'll catch, catch it all. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. See the lines. <laughs> I was just, I was just curious, like what the, you know, how many vertices are just sitting out in the future? I could, I'll move it closer. Reduce that. That's achievable. So the scanning stuff's pretty amazing, but I was actually I was really impressed with how you can use it for motion capture too. So I found a couple pretty good programs. And one's called uh, Ipisoft Motion Capture. And you can use um, 
one or two connect ones, um, and you have to calibrate for them. But it's really easy. You just like hold a board up to the up to the camera. So I had one camera over here and one camera behind me, and I just moved this around, and it figured out where the connects were in relation to this. So here's my video. So there's one behind, you can see that camera right there. There's one behind me that's kind of strong. <laughs> To like conventionally name the bones or anything, or how does uh, it do that? This matching list right here, so uh. you can kind of match them up. <laughs> <laughs> and then just to, so to get cute. it into Unity, you just hit export animation, um, and then you save it as an FBX, and then we can use that. Once you have that, you can use an animation controller, and you can uh, build a list of uh, animations for your fill in the plate. Right? So he's randomly doing like kick, dance, maybe spin. I'm not sure.
So I thought it was pretty cool that I got um, animation. It took me like about an hour. And I'm not an animator, so yeah. I don't use my eye or anything. Yeah, you can get the scan link connect. You have to have a special uh, USB uh, connector. And so they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. Um, the anim the everything I showed you except for the animation is uh, free stuff. Um, the animation is uh, I think it's like 300 for one connect, and then if you use two connects, it's uh, like 600.